Yeah, thank you for booking the call. Um, yeah, of course. Uh, thank you for accepting my request, actually. I noticed that you put some stuff that you wanted to go over today um, in the little notes um, that you're struggling okay. with consistency and problem in personalizing your strategy. Um, so we can go yeah, over those things today. But um, before we do, can you just tell me okay. like a little bit about your history of trading before we, we go into that? Yeah, of course I can. Uh, I'm from Sri Lanka actually, and I have followed you nearly for one year, one year in YouTube actually. And uh, I have been trading from 2020 December to actually 2021 October actually. After that, I got busy. And uh, now I plan to restart my trading process actually again, because mm. uh, in the middle of that, I got graduated from my university and i got the job actually from last october and now i have settled down in place and i have planned to start the work again then uh, the main issue is uh, actually i'm i couldn't find a proper time to you know i had a strategy and i have personalized my thing before i got the work but now it is a little bit harder i'm not i don't, I don't know how to again you know continue with my trading works that's why i need a I need to work with someone who actually know the thing. Right, right. Okay. So do you have like a, a strategy or anything that you're using right now? Yep. Yeah, of course I have a strategy uh, and I have already backtested uh, in, in the last year. Actually, I have backtested and I, I also forward tested, but I haven't gone live yet, actually. Uh, I have backtested it and I have already, uh, I have done two months of you know, two months I have uh, did in the demo account and the live market actually. Okay, cool. And how's how's that been? Has it been good? Uh, yeah, actually, the main problem is I'm not uh, good with the emotions. You know, sometimes mm -hmm. I I don't take the trades in in fear of losing money. Then I have started reading some books. You know psychological books and i started to work out then i thought maybe consistency is my problem actually one day i will take the trade uh, if i lost the trade three times then i won't take the next trade so when i started to work on my psychology and i started to read some books then suddenly i got graduated then that all was a uh, post actually hmm. okay i mean that is something that is very very tough like with the emotions yeah. because it leads on to so many other things as well um so whenever you are kind of going into that emotional trading what is it that does that like is there a trigger for you is there like oh when i lose a certain amount of trades that's typically when i go into emotional trading or is it like as soon as you go onto the markets something happens and you just can't follow that plan like what do you know what that trigger is surely i think is this because i have a, a separate time for my trading i allocated that when it is according to my plan according to my back to that plan then i went into the live market and i watched then uh, i i just feel like i won't put a trade on so you know mm -hmm. uh, before the actual trade setup comes i will put the trade then when the actual trade comes uh, i have already lost my you know first trade so i feel you know i will just and then i will miss the opportunity that's the main problem i have you know faced during the two months right okay um so do you so when you take that position well it's not even like a trade position is it it's just like a random trade um do you have like a set time that you trade or are you trading all of them all the time no, no, no. I have a set of time according to my uh, plan. I have a set of time to trade. Actually, it is uh, two hours in the London opening and uh, two hours in the uh, New York opening, actually. Okay. And do, yeah. you, do you look at the charts outside of those times? Uh, maybe sometimes, but I don't put any trade. I don't do like do that thing. But I watched. Uh, you know, I have seen the charts middle of the times. Okay. 
Okay. Yeah. I mean, I'm not like a psychological expert here, so I can't really, you know, I can't tell you why you're doing that. But to me, it sounds like you've got a good trading plan and it sounds like, yeah. you know, you've back tested it and, and everything's good. Um, I think maybe adding like a, a, th a thing where you've got like a max amount of trades that you can take per day or week. I don't know what your kind of entries are, but um, doing that so that it stops you from entering that trade that you're not meant to be entering and then only entering the trade that you should be. Um, that's one of the things I can think of. Um, the other thing is literally just developing discipline to be able to not take that first trade and only take the trades that you're meant to be. Um, and you can go and do that by like doing multiple things, right? You can build discipline by just doing stuff that you don't want to do, essentially. Um, so there's quite a few ways you can build that discipline. That's really all I can think of, to be honest. Um, because again, I'm not like a psychological expert, but try and read more about psychology and try and read more about um, like emotional trading and things like this. And yeah, I think that's really all you can do is just try and learn more about the psychology of trading, building some discipline. And yeah, I, I, that's, I, can, I think that's it. Yeah, I, th I am also think, thinking like uh, maybe I should focus on that thing. And uh, one thing I am, you know, got my job and I spare time in, in the morning and also in the uh, night time also. Now, uh, can you give me, you know, you know, can you tell me something about where where can I resume my trading actually? Do I need to backtest again or how can I resume where I left, where from my left trading? I mean, if you had a strategy already, um, yeah. then I would just go ahead and trade it. Like you, I like there's not like a set thing in trading right where you have to do something. Um, it's it's down to the individual trader. And if you've already been trading, some, like if I went into the past and picked up a strategy that I'd traded before that I knew was profitable, I don't need to go and back test that because I know it's profitable. Um, so that, yeah, there's no, there's no need to back test. So I think you can just go ahead and trade it. But if you want to back test it, then obviously it might help you get back into the rhythm of trading that strategy. So it could be beneficial. But I don't think it's a must. Okay, okay, thank you. And uh, I had some sort of problem in, you know, customizing, personalizing my strategy. Actually, and before I got the work, I have, I have more time in the London opening and the New York opening. Actually, hmm. but uh, now I have work during in those time. Actually, so I need to tweak the strategy, or I need to free up my space you know time space in during the time what is more more suitable for me as you think um in terms of personalizing a strategy i yeah. think it's one of these things where you have to know yourself quite well um so you have to know what you're good at what you're not good at um what ten what what something the you know so f for me personally i'll give you an example i need a specific time to trade because if i don't have that specific time to trade i will over trade um and it's happened over and over and over again so now i've figured out okay in all of my strategies i have to have an exact time to trade um and that kind of helps me to not over trade um so you have to understand what you're good at what you're not good at what triggers uh like bad trading for you what triggers good trading for you um you want to build that strategy around you and around what you're good at because there's, there's no point personalizing a strategy that doesn't fit with you um you know it's, it's just pointless so building a strategy where it helps you be a better trader is 
the goal that I have, right? I'm not um, just doing any kind of strategy that I can find. I'm trying to build something that enables me to trade easier and trade um, like less less stress as well, less stress on the mental side, um, less emotions. Um, for me, the more mechanical I can be, the better. So I think it's down to you to try and figure out what you're good at, what triggers good trading for you, what triggers bad trading for you, and then try and develop that strategy around that. Um, I can send you a few videos to watch that that should help you um, do that. Let me let me send that to you. Okay. Um, Okay, here we go. Copy link. I'll just send it in the chat, in the um, in the Zoom chat. Okay, thank you. There you go. Take it out. Um, yeah. So if you watch that, you don't need to go through all of it, but you can if you want to. Um, it's basically like a sixteen video like series 16. that I made to help you to go from nothing to like a fully personalized strategy that fits with you so, uh, yeah you can watch that if you want to um i hope that will help um but yeah is there anything else that you wanted to go over uh yeah one more thing actually uh do you have uh, do you can you help me to develop consistency actually you know i am really you know struggling to develop consistency i have tried several things but i couldn't continuously you know follow up things actually um i mean that is like that's tough again i think it is mainly discipline um discipline mm -hmm. to actually follow that strategy and follow something mm -hmm. over and over and over again for a long period of time like that takes a lot of discipline which is really tough yeah um, but I also think it's down to who you're following, who you're looking at, who you're surrounding yourself with. Um, because a lot of traders will be following people on Instagram, let's say, or they're in Telegram groups or whatever. Um, that is making your life so much harder to actually stay disciplined because you're seeing other traders make money whilst you're maybe sitting on the sidelines or you're losing money. Um, and for me, I don't have the discipline to be sitting in a group whilst that's going on. So I'm not in any groups apart from obviously my own private chat, but that's not like, that's not a signals group. That's just a, a private chat of, of traders. So um, I think if you're in those signals groups, leave. Um, and if you're following any kind of flashy traders on Instagram, or flashy traders on whatever, unfollow them um, because it's it's not a good influence for you, and it's going to make you kind of it, it's it's FOMO essentially, and you know you don't want to be having FOMO when you're trying to be disciplined. So yeah, I think that's it really. You've got to build discipline, and you've got to surround yourself with traders that aren't flashy. Does, does that help me does that help yeah actually i have i know i am following such traders in instagram actually and uh youtube also actually youtube instagram telegram actually hmm. <laughs> yeah i i mean it's tough right it's very very tough because you can see yeah. these people making money um you want to be a part of it and yeah exactly it's, yeah it's it's tough because it is a very there there's like two sides of trading right there's one that's very exciting and fun and communities and you know signals and everyone's making money together and whatever and, and the other side yeah. is extremely boring um not flashy at all and yeah no one wants to be a part of that side that's right. <laughs> you know, actually, which side is the better, you think? <laughs> oh, 100% no, the, the boring the side. side. Make it... Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah, and, you, you, it needs uh, to be boring. 
just need bit more you know <laughs> yeah actually i have tried in the initial stages i have tried all the signal rooms and i have already tried of that so i Good. quit all the other signal rooms and Good. i have started working on my own strategy actually and um, you know i have followed some new team strategies and then i tried it all and i have made it on on, on my own strategy actually <laughs> mm okay for for me person person life strategy actually so that is what i am trying to follow here so am i actually my goal is to be a, you know crop i need to my goal is to trade for a prop form actually so that's that's the main target goal i said uh, earlier but then i found that you know for prop forms it is actually you know 10 percentage per month now. then i always target for that much then i risk too much that uh, that that affected my emotions a little bit then i thought that okay let's keep the prop form aside and let's focus on trading first for two percentage or three percentage per month then i can you know, increase my risk and start it out yeah yeah i mean i think a lot i think a lot of traders have the goal of trading for a firm um yeah it's good it's a very very good addition to to the trading industry that's for sure um yeah i think that you'll do it to be fair because you've had experience you know what you're doing you've back tested you've got a strategy it's just about building that discipline and yeah you know um staying consistent with it so um yeah try and build that discipline as much as you possibly can and i think it will help um I think it will help quite a bit. Okay, thank you. Thank you for, you know, I am really, really glad to talk with you. You know, I don't, I, in my country, I don't, anyone who is trading, actually. <laughs> no, uh, so it is very much, you know, uh, relaxing for me to talk with an another trader, you know, actually, who has done it, you know. Yeah. <laughs> in, uh, yeah, I mean, I know what you, know. you mean. I know what you mean um yeah <laughs> trading can be very very lonely so yeah i know what you mean um but yeah thank you for for booking the call i've hoped that i hope this has helped um obviously you'll be able to watch this on youtube as well um like if you okay, yeah. if you want to be watching it and going back and going over it basically just just see it as a way to watch something or watch the call again so it's recorded for you um okay okay so yeah, because obviously we go over quite a lot in the call and it, it would be good if you went over that again and took notes. Of, I don't know if you were taking notes, probably not. Um, but yeah, I, I thank you very much. I hope you have a good day. And um, Okay, thank you very much. Cool. Yeah, good luck with your trading. Yeah,